Have you ever considered what motivates you to tune into your favourite TV show every week? Why you spend hours scrolling through social media? Or what causes you to tune into the same news source time and time again? The question of what motivates our media consumption is at the heart of uses and gratifications theory. This theory was developed in the middle of the 20th century and is defined by its leading researchers as a study of the social and psychological origins of needs, which generate the expectations of the mass media or other sources, which lead to differential patterns of media exposure, resulting in need gratifications and other consequences. Put more simply, uses and gratifications theory is a study of the needs that motivate us to consume media, what causes us to believe a certain media will meet our needs, and what happens when these needs are met. Uses and gratifications theory is focused on active choices made by the audience and seeks to understand how and why these choices are made. In the context of this theory, gratification is a fulfillment of a social or psychological need through the interaction with media. Identifying and understanding these needs is a key area of uses and gratifications theory. While these needs can vary greatly across media genres and channels, there are generally three major categories. Cognitive needs related to knowledge, which include any information seeking, surveillance or reality exploration needs. Diversion needs, which relate to the desire for escape from everyday thought and include the need to be stimulated, the need for excitement and the need to escape boredom. And finally, personal identity needs related to a person's sense of self. This category includes the need to see ourselves in others, the need to have our ideas and opinions validated and the need to experience social situations. Another important aspect of uses and gratifications theory is understanding why audiences choose media to fulfill their needs. Uses and gratifications researchers distinguish between gratifications sought, or the needs we think we are pursuing, and gratifications obtained, the needs actually satisfied by the media. If the gratifications obtained from the media choice are close to or the same as the gratifications sought, the audience is more likely to choose that media when the need returns. Uses and gratifications theory has a wide range of applications in both communications and psychological fields. In psychological fields, it is an important concept in the areas of motivation and behavioural studies, as it seeks to understand the motivations behind media consumption behaviours and what causes these motivations. For communications professionals, understanding why people use certain media can provide insight into what media should be created, how audiences will likely interact with this media, and what is the best kind of media to host their content. In summary, uses and gratifications theory is an ongoing field of motivational research that seeks to understand our media behaviour and choices. According to uses and gratifications theory, as an active audience, we each have the power to choose to interact with media that will satisfy our needs and are far more likely to return to media that has satisfied us in the past. For more information about this theory and its applications, please see my book chapter linked in the description below.